All right, so now this is the final chapter of this course. Let's review briefly how we got here and return back to our example of colonists arriving on a new world, which is a blank slate, and they can rewrite and reorganize society in whatever way they want. In the first part, we considered, suppose there was a supercomputer that could organize their society. It had lots of information. Uh, we, con we came up with some conditions that would add, that would sort of be a minimum criteria that we think a good allocation of resources would have input efficiency output efficiency and uh, exchange efficiency now we also talked about if you were to just centrally control all this and make a plan to allocate all your resources you'd have a number of problems uh, those conditions are only minimum so they don't take into account things like fairness that's one problem two we assumed at the beginning that the computer has all this information, but in reality, it, it's very hard for a modern society to get all the information it requires to centrally plan, especially it can be costly to acquire and people might have a reason to misrepresent the information. So that's the second reason. Uh, the third was it can be very computationally difficult or even impossible to totally accurately calculate how to efficiently allocate these resources. And the fourth was what we call the principal agent problem. How do you get people to go along with a plan if they don't like what their role is in this plan? Okay. In the second part of the course, we proposed a possible solution using uh, markets and allocating property rights. And we showed that uh, under the right conditions, property rights or uh, free markets are going to solve almost all these problems. Okay. They're going to achieve input, output, and exchange efficiency. And that's going to be because uh, pr through the vehicle of prices. And they're not going to have these four problems we highlighted. Um, determining which outcome we get, that depends on how you initially endow property rights. But if you endow them in a way that people think is fair uh, and good, then the market will you know, allow people to trade and use resources efficiently uh, to achieve sort of a desirable outcome. Uh, you don't have to gather information to a central place. Instead, the decision about how to use resources is made where information about those resources live. So consumers know their own preferences and they decide how to spend their uh, income to buy things and firms know how to produce things and they use that information to efficiently purchase and, and allocate resources. They do need to know a little bit about what other people, how other people would use those resources, but the only piece of information they need to know is the price and that's manageable. Uh, and we, it also solves this computational problem because again, each organization or person in charge of something solves this tiny problem. And we use the sort of computing power embedded in the entire economy to solve the problem of allocating resources efficiently. And we don't have this principal agent problem. If we're happy with the initial allocation of property rights, then from that point on, everything is voluntary. All exchanges only happen if both parties agree to it. So you don't have to worry about uh, telling someone to do something they don't want to do because uh, in terms of using resources, there is no rule about how you have to use them. Okay, so that, was, that led us to the first and second welfare theorem, uh, which basically codified these ideas. They said that free markets are going to be Pareto efficient. And depending on how you allocate those property rights, any out place you want to get to, you can get there with a market. But in the third part of the course, we introduced the real, the messy real world and various problems that beset real economies that mean that these theories don't actually hold. Okay. They're not going to really work. Uh, you can have firms with market power and that breaks the link between a price telling you how much it costs to produce something and uh, how much people want to use it. And then you're not allocating resources efficiently. You can have problems with externalities where the decision to purchase and the decision maker who's trying to produce this good, the firm, uh, those are not the only two people who are affected by the transaction. And so you need additional information to use resources efficiently. We talked about public goods, which are goods where you can't, they're not well served in markets. You can't exclude people from using the goods. Lots of people can use the goods simultaneously. And so for various reasons, markets don't work well. Now we've introduced, uh, you know, in the last section, a 
a couple of ways that uh, the uh, sort of whoever's running the show can intervene in the market for better or for worse. Okay. And so now we're left with these colonists and we can think what's the best way for them to go forward. And it seems like, you know, we tried, we've had sort of two idealistic conclusions, central control, you know, just have a computer solve it. That had a lot of problems. Uh, free markets, that seemed like it might work, but it turns out that's got a lot of problems too. And this last section here, we've kind of hinted at that the best that societies have come up with so far is sort of a mixed approach where you have uh, markets allocating lots of resources and a government intervening and, uh, you know, trying to correct and sort of tilt against and uh, the areas where things go wrong. Now, uh, in this last section, we'll talk a little bit about thinking that through this problem of suppose the best you can do is use markets some of the time, and then other times you intervene with taxes, quotas, antitrust, all sorts of things. How do you think about when to intervene and when not to? Because as we've seen, you can make things better or you can make things worse. And that's what this section is going to, this last concluding section will be about.